Good morning. It's Monday morning, June 27th, 2016, and we're continuing in our discussion of Psalm 91. I'd like to read the first five verses, and we're going to talk about verse 6 today. It says, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with his feathers and under his wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night nor of the arrow that flies by day nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. We're looking at that last verse. You'll not be afraid of the pestilence. You'll not be afraid of that pestilence that walks in darkness. And we know that the beginning of this, very precious scripture, it talks about the reason why we're not going to be afraid is that we dwell in the secret place of the Most High. I'm not positive that the author of this psalm had in mind that there would be a perilous pestilence, a destruction that would come, a deadly disease would come at night and attack you. I'm not positive uh, that there would be a plague that he was referring to specifically. But I think sometimes fear has so gripped us, and we've been told already in this to precious Psalm 91, not to be afraid, that you don't need to be fearful at night or anxious at night. And maybe your doors are locked or unlocked, doesn't matter. Maybe you're in a, a quiet zone in the United States or you're in a war zone in the Middle East. You don't have to be afraid. Violence has filled the world that we live in, but he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High does not have to be afraid of the pestilence that walks in darkness. And the second part of this verse says of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. And that is the destruction referring to an annihilation or a ruin or a devastation or a, a damage that happens at noonday. I'm not positive that just the nighttime or the the middle of the day or, or the lone references here. But as we look back at, at verse 4, it says, His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of terror, in verse 5, nor of the arrow. So we're talking about the security and safety and the refuge that we find when we dwell in the secret place the Most High. The the very core of our being is anchored in Jesus Christ. We actually get to sit in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. And I, I believe the psalmist wants us to understand that no matter how turbulent the culture is around us or, or how much turmoil is in our job situation or even how much tension might be in our home because of conflict between various people in the house, that keeping our mind stayed on Jesus Christ, keeping our mind on things above and not on things of the earth, reminding ourselves that we're abiding in the presence of the Almighty. I want you to be there right now. I want you to understand that right now, right where you're at, the presence of God surrounds you. No plague's going to get you tonight. No destruction at noonday is going to shake your life. You might lose your job. You might have a car accident. You might have some devastation in your life. It's not, it's not going to take you down. Because you're in the secret place of the Most High. Heavenly Father, today, remind all of us, your presence surrounds us. You are guarding over us. You are our shield and buckler. I praise you for that. I pray quietness come over the spirit and mind of those who have heard this word today. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a blessed day. God has covered you with his feathers.